T-tops, I gotta put the weather stripping in. Well, I got all the weather stripping. I got the T-top weather stripping, the doors, and the hatch. Also got the window sweeps, outer and inner. I got it installed. Got them all over here. Also got a few more things, but mainly we're gonna concentrate on this weather stripping and getting these T-tops back in, so I can seal it up. Then I can take it back outside. But I need to unmask it first. So let's go ahead and do that. Getting all my trimming along here, put on also this middle piece. I gotta do that before I put the weather stripping on. This these pieces here, it's the middle piece. Start painting the screws. Let me take all this weather stripping out and I'll show them to you. This is what we got here. This the T-top weather stripping. This the door weather strips. This the hatch. These are the roof rail weather strips. They go at the bottom of the glass. On the outer part here. And these pieces here, the triangle pieces, they go here. I'm gonna have to unmask that. I'm gonna be painting that black. Also, got some decals here. They go on the uh, side skirts. This one here go here. I think that's it. And this middle piece. I already done set it up there. I gotta screw it down. Then we'll start putting these other pieces on. Got my holes lined up. If you can remember how this used to look, it came a long way. Cause I had repaired it. It was rusted out. I got an old video. I think when I did the body work, I had repaired this. But I'm just going to put the screws in. Got it bolted down. Now we'll move on to this piece here. It goes right here. Then we got that front piece that goes up here. Trim pieces installed on both sides. Now I put these pieces here on. It's what the rod slide into the T-top glass. Let me show you what I'm talking about. 
This is the driver front, driver back, passenger front, passenger back. Let me take care of that. Got that down. The reason why I put this back on first because it's a screw that hold the weather stripping on from the bottom that I got a screw in. Now I put this here on. This the piece the rod slide into for the glass on the T-top. Completed all four. Now what I do, I'm just going to dry fit this T-top weather stripping before I start gluing it down and pushing it in place. Everything looks like it lines up pretty good. This is what I was talking about. This piece here, it screws into this metal piece. Hold it in place on the front and back. Now I just take it down and start applying my, let me show you what I'm going to be using here. This weather stripping adhesive by 3M. Also, I might use this one just to push these lips in place. I'm going to just do one section at a time. I'm going to put some glue on this back section first. Then I'll work my way around to the front. But right here, you want to make sure you put a lot of glue right here because this is where it could leak at. I got the T-top weather stripping installed on both sides. Now I got to do the weather stripping on the glass itself. This here. Just got three screws here. Then this part here lift up. Then you got another screw there. And another one there. Then you can pull it out. Finished up with the glass itself. Putting the molding on with the weather strip. I had started from the window sweeps on trying to figure out what side going what because it's not labeled. This side here is going over here. I took the triangle off and painted it. Got it here. What I'm thinking about, not putting this on right now, because I still got to cut and buff the car. And I'm thinking about just go ahead and sand this part and buff this part. So I'd be able to buff up to the, you know, the window sweep without having no problems of it being on. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just go ahead and buff this air. I'm just going to start with 2,000, then I hit it with 3,000, then go straight to the compound. Just wipe it down, see if I got to go back over it before I go with the 3,000. That was 2,000 I just done. 2,000 looks good. I also decided to go ahead and buff this area up here because I got some mold and need to go around the windshield. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that while I'm doing this. Now I got to hit it with the 3,000. I just got a piece two and a half in here. Get them 2,000 scratches out. Then I'll be ready to buff. I'm ready to start compounding it now. 
I'm gonna be using my Rupes Mini Bigfoot. It's great for small little areas like that. And I'll be putting some of this McGuire's diamond cut compound on it. Finished up with the compound. Now I get ready to install my window sweeps. Out of window sweep on, I just done this side, I still gotta do the other side, and I'm gonna wait till I get the door panels to do the inner. But now I could do my triangle here, put that back on. Then I can do the weather stripping that goes here. This is my triangle. Then I can put these pieces on to the triangle. Triangle installed. Let me show you how to start the weather stripping. It's two different ones. It's got a long lip in the back, so this is going to be on the passenger side. This is going to be on the driver's side. And how you install it. Just slide it down through the channel there. The cuts are off so I can apply a little pressure to get it all the way down. But I got it all the way down. Now I finish up the other door, then we'll move on. Both sides completed. Now we'll move on to the door itself, weather stripping. It got little push pins you push here, all the way around the bottom, also that side. And I'm gonna put some glue on this area. Then you got two screws. It's extra four. It's two more on this side. And we'll take over here where the weather stripping at. Driver side here. I got a screw somewhere. Well, looks like it's yeah, four on each side. I'm gonna use this 3M just to glue at the top of it. The rest of it gonna have these push pins in. What I did, I just pushed all the clips in along the bottom. I left one loose, left it hanging, so I can just put some glue here. Then I put that clip in and screw it down. Taped it off until the adhesive dry. It don't take long for it to dry. Once it dry, I pull it off. Got that taken care of. Can't really see this back section here now we'll move to the hatch weather stripping got it up here ready to be installed this piece here goes in the middle the whole to hold it, uh, each end together. Say, apply adhesive to the connector and ends. Say so it's made for 77 through 85, Chevy and Paula 77 through 91, Caprice 82 to 92, Camaras and 75 through 79 Nobles. Let's get that put on. Two different ends. This lip, it goes on the outside. It need to be facing towards the outside. Let 
like that. It's gonna have quite a bit of access you need to cut off. I'm gonna use some tin snips to cut it off with. Also, as you can tell, what need to be on the outside and inside, the holes need to be pointed towards the outside. The hatch weather stripping is installed. I was going to install the hatch itself because I got to put this metal piece on, the deck lid to go onto the glass. But I think I'm going to move up front and install this trim here. It got two sided tape on it, but I'm going to use this glue also. I still got to put some glue in between the T-tops on all four corners right here, here, also on the other side. And I'm going to use that same windshield adhesive. Mask and tape around the seal just to hold it in place until it dry. And once it dry, I finish this bottom half off. I might just do this in the morning. It'd be good and dry in the morning. But let me take you outside and we'll put the hatch on to the glass. Here's the glass. Here's the deck lid top. I done put some glue around the edges here. The glass go in between this and another piece. So let's go ahead and install this. Got it put together. Now I call Justin over so we can install it on the car. Installed the hatch glass. I still got to put the door vent in there. Once I do that, I'll put the T-top glass in. Probably put the wheels on. Push it outside, let it sit for a couple more days. Then I'll bring it back in and cut and buff it. Right from the bottom to the top, 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 from the bottom to the top